The third annual Miranda Bourne Diversity Leadership Annual Lecture took place this weekend. Miranda is one of the UK's top diversity champions, helping to close the diversity gap in our workforce and across the globe as well. Miranda joins me now. Hello to you. Hello. Um, so you've had a busy weekend. Uh, tell Very us busy. a bit about you and what you do exactly. Yeah, so I'm the founder and the CEO of the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation. And the aim of that is to help close the diversity gap within the UK workforce, but also across the globe at a much faster pace. So each year, we hold a scholarship programme award ceremony. We also have the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Annual Lecture, and that took place yesterday within London. And so the purpose of this lecture is to educate our next generation of leaders, but also our current leaders that are either in the workplace or looking to make career moves. And it's to empower them and to also update them in terms of what's going on in the diversity and equality space. So I think there's lots of initiatives going on at the moment. Lots of organisations are talking about diversity at the moment and there has been progress, but there hasn't been enough. And if you look at various statistics and various reports that's come out, there's a Women in the Workplace report 2018 that was out this week and that was by the Lean In organisation and also McKinsey. And that highlighted that women are still facing lots of discrimination. They're not being paid the same as men. And I guess that goes into the lecture that I provided yesterday, it was providing um, an update in terms of what has been happening. So we've got the gender pay gap reporting, which has highlighted that 78 of employees are actually um, paying men more than women. Oh, wow. Last year's lecture, so each year we have a theme. In the first year of the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Annual Lecture, the theme was on diversity leadership in the 21st century. So we were updating everyone on facts and figures on where are we today in 2016. Last year it was on the race pay gap. And then Theresa May mentioned last week that she was looking to have mandatory race or ethnic um, pay gap reporting. Mm -hmm. We've, I also mentioned the Rinrush scandal, the Me Too campaign, 100 years since women were able to vote. But we had some excellent speakers. So we had John Bacco, the Speaker of the House of Commons. He was there to give an opening keynote speak on the Parliament and diversity. Now, this was the first time that he had actually had the opportunity to speak in a public forum about diversity and what he's actually been able to do within race diversity and he's been doing a lot when it comes to diversity. We also had Dame Fiona Wolfe who's ex-Lord Mayor of London. Mm -hmm. She's a patron of our foundation and she provided the closing address and we had so many wonderful speakers talking about their own experiences from different sectors. We also had a vision board workshop and a Black History Month talk because we are celebrating Black History Month as well. But the, the theme behind what I was talking about was what are the two steps that we can have to close the diversity gap? And that was we've got to get in the next generation involved. We've also got to get men and all different... We've, we've got to get everyone together. So the theme was together we can change the world and make a positive difference. And it's how can... How can everyone else watching get involved it's everyone can play their part and if they watch our youtube video if they follow my website www.mbdiversityleadershipfoundation.com all the information and all the keynotes will be on there so that they can learn how we can join forces to close the diversity gap miranda thank you very much